Hi there, buds. It's been a minute. It's been an entire month since I filmed a video. Um, that's because I did the big one, the large giant joint in my last video. So if you guys are interested in seeing that super stony video, you can click up here to see it. Um, today, I just wanted to catch up with you guys because it's been an entire month. It is so nice outside right now like i feel like it's officially summer today is the last day of school for the elementary school students next door so i'm so excited about that because i get some peace and quiet around my yard not that i don't enjoy the kids but it's really nice to not have them when the weather gets pretty and i'm actually outside using my yard anyways i have the air vape legacy pro loaded up with some blueberry i thought we would hit this a few times and um just catch up Cheers. I don't know what it is about me using a vaporizer lately for, for flour, but it is so relaxing to me. I think it's because you have to take really deep breaths. So it's like kind of like a breathing exercise and getting the benefits of the, you know, calmingness. <coughs> so what should i update you guys on first one well i sold my taylor swift tickets which to anyone who truly knows me knows that that is a massive deal i was a huge fan of taylor swift but now she's dating a whole racist and i'm just like it's just way too uncomfortable for me personally so i've kind of like revoked my support of taylor swift um sold those tickets and it all worked out in the end because my seats were really, really good. So I ended up selling them on StubHub for $6,500. So I can um, truly say that any disappointment that I had about not going to the concert because of this is, um, I feel a lot better about it. You know what I mean? It sucks to have your favorite be so problematic but um uh, it is nice that in the end i profit over five thousand dollars because those tickets were 750 bucks so yeah but i just i personally would not have felt comfortable going to that concert and then i seen i've just seen so many different things particularly on tiktok as i've been scrolling of just taylor swift fans literally being so racist and like ever since this whole her dating this racist has happened she hasn't said anything and i think it's really giving her fan base like just like the ammo to like be incredibly racist and they're like literally saying like what's the problem with dating someone who's racist that's not a reflection of you I literally think that the people that you associate with, in particular, who you decide to, you know, share your bed with, that does say something about you as well. It, it does. It does. I don't care what anyone says. In my opinion, it does. So, um, yeah. And then I've been selling all my Taylor Swift records. That's been nice. I swear to God, between uh, all the stuff that I'm selling of Taylor Swift, I'm not even exaggerating. I'll make ten thousand dollars not being a fan anymore so it's kind of a wake-up call to um myself anyways to just kind of check those things because there there would be no way that i would spend six thousand five hundred dollars to see anyone on the face of the planet and that, i'm just keeping it 100 percent honest um there's not a single person i could use that money way way more than that so um instead i bought patio furniture and i'm gonna be able to get my trees trimmed and you know i'm gonna put in a brick patio just 
several different things that I've been wanting to do around the property. Now I'm going to be able to afford to do them. So everything works out for a reason, you know? I mean, it sucks that this is the reason, but it worked out well for me in the end. I heated this back up because literally I'm going to show you guys, it's still green. After all those puffs, it's still green. So we're going to take this for round two. Um, yeah, but that basically leads me to what I wanted to show you guys. Um, basically, I've been doing a bunch of landscaping on my house. The, the side of my house that faces the elementary school literally was just grass. And there's nothing wrong with grass, but like this house had so much grass. And when I say our water bill was literally over $350, last month or last year during the hottest months of the summer and I as soon as that happened I was like you know what we're taking out some grass because this we have grass in the front yard we have grass in our side yard because this is a corner lot we have a nice size side yard um and then there's grass all the way through our entire backyard um and we have almost a quarter acre so that's just it's just a lot of grass to keep water Plus, I don't really like grass that much. I would much prefer flower beds. So basically, I ripped out a ton of grass, made a little grass pathway, and garden beds. So I wanted to show you guys the garden beds that I've installed because they are massive. And I've gotten so many compliments from the neighbors just walking the street. So I'm excited to share it with you guys. I also want to show you guys my plans for the patio area I think it'll be so nice to have a space outside that's like away from the house because we do have like an attached patio on the back of our house but there's just something about being away from your house that makes you feel like you're somewhere else you know what I mean so I really wanted to put somewhere in the back of the property for us to be able to sit and enjoy and I think that this brick patio is going to be really pretty and I got the bricks on like super sale from Home Depot they were like four for a dollar so I literally probably will have spent less than $150 on this brick patio and I think it's going to look like it's worth way more. I hope you guys have been doing well. Things have been going well here. It's been very relaxing. And by relaxing, I mean like gardening is relaxing to me. So it's been a lot of work. This is my busy time because I literally started so many plants. You, you'll you see, you'll see. Cause I started everything that you'll see in that this garden, um, I started from seed, so. It has been nice to get stuff out of the house and into the ground. Um, we're not 100% complete with the project, but we're far enough along to where I can show you guys the progress. I'm really excited about the progress. <coughs> All right, let me show you guys the progress outside. One of the big things that we've been doing to the landscape is replacing all the stone. We used to have these stones literally jutted up like jagged. That's what came with the house. So we're replacing everything to like this nice neutral gray. We're gonna be putting a climbing rose on the workshop. It's an orange climbing rose and it smells so good. I feel like I don't see orange roses very often. So I thought this would be something different. And the big change to the backyard is all these garden beds. Like, all of these are new. Those two large ones in the back were there last year. That's where we gardened last year. But all this is brand new. We have an archway, which I'm going to be growing morning glories up. Onions. Lysianthus straw flower and dill and in the back we have ranunculus all the way across the bed look how pretty that bloom is when they're fully open they look like tissue paper flowers tomatoes in the back and these nice oblesque 
think they look so nice. And that is the stone, the bricks for the patio that we're gonna do right over here beside the garden underneath this apple tree. And we're thinking about laying it in this like herringbone pattern. Obviously we'll have to take up all these stones and level it out, but I think this will look really, really nice. And literally 25 cents a brick, so that's a steal. I'll show you guys the outside landscaping as soon as school is done being let out. They have a half day today, so I think that they're literally getting out of school right now. So I'll let them get out of school and then we'll have some quiet over there to show you the gardens. This right here is something I'm so excited about. It is a yellow climbing rose that will grow in the shade. So the north side of our house is the side that I'm going to be showing you where the gardens are. And I really wanted a rose on that side because it faces the school. And so it has a lot of traffic. And I'm so excited. Look at those buds. It has buds all over it. Do you guys hear that? That's the announcements for the school getting out. It is so funny that they're playing celebrate good times as they get out of school and the kids are screaming. I can hear them. They're so excited. This is so cute. These are the perks of living next to an elementary school. <laughs> yeah, so all this is new. Got snapdragons, petunias, irises, amaranth, calendula, delphinium, Fever few, daisies, coneflowers, rubecchias, geraniums. This is our new tree, a weeping Alaskan cedar, coleus. Look, we finally got a rubecchia bloom. Here. Columbine. And it goes all the way down. And then on this side, we put a Japanese maple in. Lots of stuff, dahlias, crimson clover, more amaranth, lupin. We have petunias lining the whole way. Yeah, I think it's gonna be really pretty though. Way prettier than just grass all the way throughout here. That was so boring. I feel like this is just way way more interesting anyways that's going to be the end of this little chill vlog um i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys around for whatever sony activity or video i come up with for next time bye guys and happy summer